guys, my name is Izmir. So today I'm going to show you how to sort 32 integers in ascending order by using arm assembly. And so and today I'm going to use bubble sort alg algorithm algorithms. Okay, before we start, we're going to see what Vitus ID has to offer us. So we have this register window right here. We, it shows R0 to R16. And then we have this memory window. And I've highlighted these two addresses right here, which is the input and the output data of this code but before we go start moving on to the code we will see how bubble sort actually works so we have the initial let's say we have the initial array right here array of five numbers five three eight two one so the way it works is by comparing two integers at at a, at a time so for the first pass right here we're going to compare five and three so because five is more than three is gonna they are gonna swap places and then the next one is five is gonna be s compared to eight but because five is less than eight they are not gonna be swapped and then eight is gonna be swapped with two and eight is gonna be swapped with one so the reason why it is called bubble sort is because you could see that the largest integer is gonna bubble through through the whole array to the top and we could see this with 8 and the next and the second pass with 5 and the third pass with 3 and the fourth pass we all of them are going to be sorted okay so without waiting so much longer we let's start with the code in the main function I've specified two load functions two load instructions which is the input data and output data the input data which is this right here it is all unsorted and output data is actually all zero at the start of the code before we run it it is all zero so I have put the input data to R0 and output data to R1 this is from the memory to the register and then we have the move instructions I've specified this 31 immediate value but it's actually 32 numbers because we start at index 0 I've put it at R2 register and then we have the move instructions I've, I've put immediate value 0 to R8 and this is just so that I could use a temporary variable R8 for later uses and then we have gonna move to two output function we have load and this function is actually just for me to copy all of the input to the output so we have this input right here and then uh, the way I'm gonna do this is by putting copying all of this input into the output and then sorting it in the output data memory, memory location instead of instead of sorting it and then putting it here okay and then uh, we're gonna load from R0 which is the input data with the address R8 into register R9 from memory to register and then we're going to store from R9 to R1 memory which is the output data location with the address R8 R8 is, R8 is 0 as I've specified earlier and then we have the add instruction we're going to add R8 by 4 which is because we have because each number is 4 bits we're going to add by 4 to increment it by 4 and to move to different to move to the next number and then we have the compare which is comparing R8 to 128 because we have a total of 128 bits which is 32 numbers but and if it is less than 128 if R8 is less than 128 we're gonna branch to two outputs so it's it's gonna loop again and again until all of them are placed inside this output data and then we have the outer loop this is just for me to initialize the flag and the loop counters we have I put it in R3 for the flag if swap has is if swaps have been made R4 for a loop counter R7 for the second loop counter R12 for the outer loop counter and then we are gonna move on to inner loop we're gonna put R1 memory with R4 address into R5 register and R5 and R6 are basically just two numbers that we are going to compare with, compare them with. 
so for example r5 and r6 for the first pass of this code is basically just 2 and 0 right here so 2 and 0 are going to be swapped places but we're going to see it later and then we have compare uh, the this is where the comparison happens r5 and r6 and if r5 is less than or equal to r6 then we're going to branch to no swap which is down here but if r5 is actually more than r6 we're going to swap the, the places so 2 and 0 are going to swap places so it will run through this keep in mind that even if after it is swapped it will still run through the no swap function and then <coughs> here we have the move instructions r5 and r8 this is just for me to put r5 into r8 for temp for for a while because we are going to put r6 to r5 and then we're going to put the r8 to r6 so basically we have just swapped r5 and r6 places r8 is basically just used as a temporary variable temporary register and i've actually reused the r8 register because i've used r8 register earlier but because r8 has no use currently so i've reused the r8 register and then we're going to move on to no swap function which we have the string the i'm um, sorry if which we have the store function store instruction we're going to put r5 into r1 which is the output data with address of r4 r4 is currently in the first pass is 0 and uh, r6 which is the larger integer into r1 output data with address r7 and then we're gonna add by 4 add them by 4 add r4 by 4 r add r7 by 4 and we are also gonna add r12 by 1 this is to implement the outer loop counter by 1 and then we have the compare instruction again r12 is going to be compared to r2 what is r2? r2 is actually this right here are this 32 elements right here and then we're gonna branch if r12 is less than the whole number of elements whole number of numbers that we have there if it is less than that we will branch back to inner loop back to here at the start so the loop is going to be is going to loop again and again until all of the numbers have been sorted in ascending order and then we have the compare instructions one which is r3 is the flag that determines if swap has been made has been made or not and then we have the branch if r3 is equals to one we are going to branch the outer loop again if r3 equals to 0 we're going to branch to sorted sorted is here down here and if this means that if no swaps were made it is all sorted we're going to branch here and we, this is going to be returned back to csd main we also have this branch to outer loop which is branched back to after the swaps were actually made uh, so let's see how the code runs so it's going to build the code and then we are going to debug the code back so as you can see in this register and this memory we have this input address and the output address the output addresses are all still zero because we haven't made we haven't run it yet and this is the unsorted numbers and after we click this button right here which is step return f7 button all of them are going to be sorted and if we look at the output here all of them are going to be sorted from negative 16 to 15 in ascending order so that's all for today thank you for listening uh, I guess that's that's all for me okay thanks for watching